Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday tutorial. I'm Zane Condren, Senior Video Specialist here at NewTek and we're all really excited to bring you this video today because we're going to be showing you the NewTek Spark line of NDI converters and the NewTek NDI PTZ camera. So let's take a look at the NewTek PTZ camera, the world's first camera with NDI technology built into it. With one cable you can bring over audio, video, control, tally information, and even power with power over ethernet support. Let's take a look on how you can easily control the NewTek NDI PTZ camera using NewTek NDI Studio Monitor. NDI Studio Monitor is available for free on the NewTek website in the NDI Tools Pack. So once you get NDI Studio Monitor installed with the NewTek NDI HX driver, you'll be able to find the NDI source of your camera on your network. So once you do that, you'll see that we now have an overlay of PTZ controls in Studio Monitor for controlling the PTZ camera, as well as zoom settings and focus settings. You have nine presets available for each camera in NDI Studio Monitor and you can uh, turn autofocus on or off and adjust it as well. So you will notice here at the bottom of Studio Monitor that there is a gear. If you click this gear this will open up the administration page for your NDI PTZ camera in your default browser. It's going to ask you for a password. The default username and password is admin admin. Here on our NDI PTZ web control, uh, you also have the ability to control the camera. You have those same nine presets. You have settings for the video quality of the NDI stream coming from the camera. Uh, additionally, here on the AV settings page, you have much more detailed control of things like exposure, white balance, and audio settings. And over here on the administration page, you can adjust the network settings. The camera does support DHCP or static IP addresses. You can adjust the date and the time for the camera as well as change the name, update the firmware, and change the default passwords. Since this camera is an NDI source, we can easily bring it into any NewTek live production system. Let's take a look at how we do that. So I'm going to bring my NDI PTZ camera in on input number one. I'm going to go over here and click the gear. I'm going to find the camera in my NDI source dropdown. You'll see here that we have a configure button that will open the web-based configuration tools that I showed you previously. And now this camera is available for control by my NewTek IP series system. So one more thing is in the PTZ configuration menu, we now have a new connection type for NDI-based cameras. So you can use the standard PTZ controls in your NewTek Live production system to control the camera. We have the ability to move it live on air with the mouse or the joystick on the NewTek control surface, as well as the preset system. This camera features tally, so when we put the camera on preview, we get a green light, and then when we take it to program, we get a red light. If the camera is both on preview and program, both lights are lit up. So that's it. With the NewTek NDI PTZ camera, it's really that simple to add it to your NDI production workflow. It brings audio, video, control, and tally all over one cable. It's really that simple. Next, I'd like to show you the NewTek line of Connect Spark converters. These allow you to convert either HDMI or SDI based sources to NewTek's NDI HX. So let's get our Connect Spark connected. First, we'll plug in the power. Next will be our Ethernet connection, and then finally our video source. The Sparks have a loop output that will loop out whatever video source you're bringing into the Spark. So let's connect our Connect Spark 
to our live production system. I'm going to go up here, find it in my source selection drop down. Here we go. You'll see that it also now has a configure option. And this will open the web based administration for the Spark line. The Sparks also have a username and password of admin admin. Here we're able to start and stop the recording that Spark can do. The Spark line can record to either a micro SD card or USB attached storage. You can set the video quality of the Spark. You can also um, bring in analog audio via the 8th inch connector on the front of the Spark. These also have a loop out for the audio connection if you're using analog audio. Here in the administration screen, uh, you can set up the network settings. You can change the name of the device. You can update the firmware. And the Spark line actually also offers the ability to connect over Wi-Fi. So here's where you'd connect the Spark to any of your available Wi-Fi networks. The new Tech Connect Sparks also feature tally lights right here on the front of the unit. If you're on program, it's red. If you're on preview, it's green. And if you're on both, it shows you both program and preview tally. So we're using a Connect Spark to bring in this camera, which is a JVC camcorder with only HDMI output, into my new Tech IP series live production system. Since the Sparks convert everything into NDI, any application that supports NDI can bring this in over the network. The Connect Sparks can also be configured on any web browser or through NDI Studio Monitor. So that's it. That was a look at the NewTek Connect Spark line of NDI converters and the NewTek NDI PTZ camera. Never before has it been easier to bring IP video into your production. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.